Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Rishon, Daf Gimel Aleph. First line. Kashya de Rabbi Meir ad Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir contradicts uh, a statement of Rabbi Meir contradicts another statement of Rabbi Meir. What's the answer? Trade Tanae Aliba de Rabbi Meir. So the two verses, it was two Tanaim, uh, two Tanaim uh, authored Rabbi Meir. Kashya de Rabbi Eliezer, Ad Rabbi Eliezer. A statement of Rabbi Eliezer contradicts another statement of Rabbi Eliezer. Trey Tanae Aliba de Rabbi Eliezer. So again, two Tanaim uh, uh, authored the views of Rabbi Eliezer. Alternatively, the Ibait Ema, and if you prefer, say, Resha love Rabbi Eliezer he. The first clause is not Rabbi Eliezer. Ad Sof Ha'ashmura, until the end of the first watch, that is, Shema can be recited until the end of the first watch. Mike Savar Rabbi Eliezer. What is Rabbi, Rabbi Eliezer's opinion? I Kasafar Shalosh Mishmarot Have Halaila. If it is the opinion that the night consists of three watches, making each one four hours long, Lema Ad Arba Sha'ot, let him say until the fourth hour. The I Kasavar Ba Mishmarot Have Halaila, and if it is the opinion that the night consists of four watches, Lema ad shalosh sha'ot. Let him say until the end of the third, until the end of the third hour. The answer: Le olam kasava shalosh mishmarot havei halayla. Actually, Rabbi Eliezer is of the opinion that the night consists of three watches. Vaha kamashma lan, and this is what he teaches us. Deika mishmarot berakia veika mishmarot baara. That there are watches in heaven, and there are also watches on earth. Titania, a brayser taught, Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Shalosh Mishmarot Have Halayla. The night consists of three watches. Val Kol Mishma Mishma Yoshev Hakadosh Baruch Hu VeShoeg Ka'ari. And at each and every watch, the Holy One, blessed is He, sits and roars like a lion. Shneimar. Hashem mimarom yishag umimaon kadsho yiten kolo. Hashem will roar from on high, and from his holy abode will send forth his voice. Sha'og yishag al navehu, he will roar and roar over his lodging. Visiman la davar, and the sign for this matter is as follows. Mishmara rishona chamor noer. The first watch, a donkey brays. Shnia klavim tsuakim. The second, uh, uh, that is the second watch, a dog's the dog's howl. Shlishit tinok yonek mishde imo. The third watch, an infant nurses from its mother's breasts. The isha mis mesa peret im bala, and a woman speaks with her husband. Maika Hashiv Rabbi Eliezer, what is Rabbi Eliezer counting? I Tchilat Mishmarot Kachashiv, if he's counting the beginnings of the watches, Tchilat Mishmara Rishon Asimana La Mali. What need is there for a sign to for the beginning of the first watch? Or Tahu, it is night. Well, that is when night falls. Isof Mishmarot Kachashiv. If he's counting the end of the watches, Sof Mishmara Achrana Lamali Simana. What need is there for a sign for the end of the last watch? Yemeima Hu. It's when day breaks. 
we'll move down to the next part. So we are on, on uh, we just finished Yememe Hu. Ela Hashiv Sof Mishmara Rishona. Rather, it is counting the end of the first watch, Utkhila Mishmara Achrona, the beginning of the last watch, the Emsa It. De M Tsaita and the middle of the middle watch. Alternatively, the Ibait Ema, or if you prefer say Kul Husof Mishmarot Kachashim, with all of these he is counting the ends of the watches. The Khitema Achrona Lotzarich. And if you will say that the last does not need uh Lama Lemai Nafka Mina, for what practical purpose is it stated? Le mikre kriat shema leman degane bevait afel for reciting the morning shema for one who sleeps in a dark house. Faloyada zman kriat shema emat and does not know when is the time for reciting the morning shema. Kevan de isha mesapert im ba'ala. Once a woman speaks with her husband. Betinok yonek mishde imo, and a child nurses from its mother's breast, leikum vilikri, let him arise and recite the Shema. Uh, now about roaring. Ama Rav Yitzhak Bar Shmuel Mishme de Rav. Rav Yitzhak Bar Shmuel said in the name of Rav. Shalosh Mishmarot Havei Halayla. The night consists of three watches. Ve'al kol mishmar u mishmar yoshev hakadosh baruch hu v'shoeg ka'ari. And at each and every watch, the hakadosh baruch hu sits and rolls like a lion. Ve'omer and says, Oy lebanim, woe to the children. She'ba'o notehem hecher ravti et beiti. Because of whose sins I destroyed my temple. Ve'saravti et hechali. And burned my sanctuary. And exiled them among the nations of the world. A related incident. Tanya, it was taught in a Baraisa, Amar Rabbi Yosei, Pa'amechat hayiti mehalech bederech, I was once travelling on the road, ve'nichnasti lechurva achat mechurvot Yerushalayim lehit palel. One, uh, and I entered one of the ruins of Jerusalem to pray. Ba Eliyahu Zechor Letov, Elijah came, who is remembered for good. Veshamar li al hapetach, ad shesiyamti tfilati, and waited for me at the entrance until I finished my prayer. La achar shesiyamti tfilati. After I finished my prayer, Amar li shalom alecha rabbi. Elijah said to me, Peace unto you, my teacher. And I responded to him, Shalom alecha, Rabbi Umori. Peace unto you, my teacher and master. And he said to me, Beni, my son, For what reason did you enter this ruin? And put yourself in danger. I said to him, To pray. For Amarli, he said to me, He should have prayed on the road and not entered the room. And I said to him, I was afraid that passers by might interrupt me. And he said to me, So you should have prayed the abridged prayer. At that time, I learned three things from Eliyahu. I learned that one should not enter a ruin. And I learned that one may pray on the road. And I learned that one who prays while on the road should pray an abridged prayer. Now we'll just scroll down for the the Amarli.
Okay. The Amali and Elijah said to me, Beni, my son, Makol Sham Shamata Bahurvazo. What sound did you hear in this ruin? The Amati law, and I said to him, Shamati bat ko shemena hemet keyona ve omeret. I heard a heavenly voice that was cooing like a dove and saying, Oi lebanim sheba avono tehem hecherav ti et beti. Woe to the sons because of whose sins I destroyed my house. Ve sarafti et hechali and burned my temple. Ve higlitim. Levain ha umot and exiled them along the nations of the world, among the nations of the world. The Amali and he, Elijah said to me, Chayecha vechaye roshecha by your life and the life of your head. Lo sha'a zo bilvad omerit kach. It is not only at this moment that the voice says this, or the heavenly voice says this. Ela bechol yom vayom shalosh pa'amim omeret kach. But on each and every day, it says this three times. Velo zo bilvad. And not only this. Ela besha'a she Israel nichnasin levatei knesiot u levatei midrashot. But at that time, at the time that Israel enters the shuls, the synagogues and houses of study, the onin yehesh me hagadol mevorach and responds in Kaddish, uh, um, may, his, may his name, may his great name be blessed. Hakadosh baruch hu mena'ena rosho ve'omer, the Holy One, blessed is he, shakes his head. And says, Ashrei Hamelech Shemaklas Shemakals Shemakalsin Oto Bevetoka Fortunate is the king who is praised this way in his house. Malo Laav Shehigla et Banav. What is there for the father who has exiled his sons? And woe to the sons who have been exiled from their father's table. Tanu Rabbanan, Rabbis taught in a brisa, Mipnei shlosha dvarim ein nichnasin l'churva. For three reasons, one should not enter a ruin. Mipnei chashad, because of suspicion. Mipnei hamapolet, because of collapse. Umipnei hamazikin, and because of demons. Mipnei chashad, because of suspicion. Vetepuk Lay mishum mapolet. But let the prohibition be derived from the concerned, from the concern for collapse. We'll continue on the next page.